Hi everyone and welcome in this new video tutorial. I'm Aryan Shirani and today I'm going to show you how to fix the problem, um, the common problem that when you try to update a page, uh, when you click update for example, uh, you are able to see the changes but visitors can't see the changes, they actually see the old version of the page. Um, to fix this, it's very very simple. There is many ways and the problem uh, like 100% of the time is the cache. So the caching system is causing the problem. Let's go to your WordPress backend and as you can see I have Elementor, Elementor Pro and VP Super Cache. Um, this is a caching plugin. Um, there is many caching plugins out there, so uh, I really suggest you to choose um, the best one because many caching plugins could give you a lot of problems. Uh, SG optimize uh, from SiteGround, and that was causing me the, the, the issue, so I had to delete that plugin. I, I guess that now they updated it, but um, to be sure, uh, right now I'm using this plugin here for free. Uh, there is also many other premium or free plugins that you can find. This one is free, so I suggest you to use this one because it's pretty easy. And if you have uh, a caching plugin, this one or another one, just be sure that after updating your page, you'll click on delete cache. Um, so most of the time, um, delete cache uh, would actually um, you know, fix the issue, but not always uh, will work. So uh, first of all, go back on the settings of the, your plugin. I'm sorry, that's not the settings of my plugin. Um, and just, you know, turn off the caching. Of course, when you build a website, um, you should not have any caching system activated on your website because you are building a website and you don't need that. Uh, of course, when you want to update a single page, sometimes you always need to delete the cache, but if you're building a website from scratch, you're starting you know, a new website, just turn off the caching system. Don't you know have caching system activated and this is very important. Uh, so I will cache, uh, will turn off the caching system, update status, um, and this uh, you know should fix the, the the problem. But if this doesn't fix the problem, I will show you some other methods. Um, so um, of course, after after doing all those editing and testing, you always need to go on the page. Uh, so let me go on this page and hard refresh the page. Uh, this because also browsers is uh, saving the cache. So what you need to do, I usually, um, of course, you need to log off. You know, you need to be um, logged off from the page. Uh, but usually, I just let's say I'm I'm not in. Let's say I'm a visitor of this uh, page here. I just click on control. I keep control pressed and I click on this button here and this will hard refresh the page otherwise you can click uh, I mean you can press control shift and R on your keyboard um, you can also do it with Mac if it's very similar to Windows um, once you done that and you still having the issue uh, that could be also uh, your browser uh, you know uh, saving the cache and there is another way to remove that you just go uh, here on your um, how can I call it settings uh, and in your settings you go on cache here and here you need um, to clear or browsing data, uh, you can clear or cache, so I click this and you just need to, um, you know, select these uh, cached image and files, um, those is not, you know, um, needed, but you can keep those so you can clean everything and you're sure and you can clear your data. So I'm not doing that because I have many things saved, but that's another way to be sure that everything uh, is okay. Another thing to test out your um, your page is to go on incognito mode. Um, let's say our page 
uh, let me check my page um, is this one right uh, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to incognito mode so control and shift and N and we'll open the incognito mode and I just you know uh, click here about me so here uh, I'm sure that no cache was saved by the browser um, but if you still having the problem um, I will show you another trick so go on your hosting company um, if you have SiteGround it would be easier because I have a SiteGround but if you have a different hosting company you would find like a cPanel or something very similar uh, anyway, um, uh, you should find something um, uh, like an option that will allow you to clear your cache server site. If you don't know how to do that on your hosting company, just contact them and tell them that you want to clear your cache uh, server site. Um, in SiteGround, for example, uh, I have the speed and I go to caching and here I can actually um, you know um, clear um, the caching uh, server site so if I click on this icon here it will clear all my cache server site uh, I can also uh, you know disable it by clicking on this button so there is many options that your hosting company should provide you and uh, of course if you don't know how to do that just call your company and um, you know ask them some instructions um, once you've done that, go on your website, uh, your page again, or hard refresh it possibly and check if actually it works. So if it doesn't work, um, again, uh, you should actually test this other option that I will show you right away. Um, so first of all, uh, go on your WordPress, uh, go on your plugin. And, and let's say you have a, a caching plugin here, just deactivate uh, the plugin, okay? So deactivate it and uh, try again if the problem is actually the plugin. I'm saying this, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm saying this because most of the time uh, is the caching plugin causing this. Anyway, if um, you want to, you know, test another thing that you could do, if this doesn't work, uh, just um, go on Elementor. Elementor, uh, let me check. Um, I'm sorry. Click on Elementor and let me check Tools. Just regenerate your CSS and sync the library. But first, let's try another thing. You can go on Settings here and um, advanced and the CSS print method you can change it to internal embedding uh, change this like that save it and then go to tools and regenerate the files sign the library if you wish uh, but this should uh, you know uh, fix the issue if this is still not fixing the issue guys um, there is another way uh, that could really uh, help us um, it's adding a code to a file that will, you know, disable the caching system on the whole website and server site usually. So the thing is uh, a code like this that I usually add when I'm creating a website from scratch. Uh, I will add this code to the description of your website and this code actually you can copy it and then go on your files on WordPress files so in my case uh, I'm here on file manager public HTML and here for example I have HD access and this file should be visible some of um, you know some uh, hosting company hides uh, this file here uh, so uh, find for an option that will you know enable uh, the full visibility of all your files anyway once you have your HD access open it and add at the end of the code this code that I just um, added on the description of the, the video so just add it here save it don't worry it's not a virus it's not a spy code it's not uh, you know those kind of stuff it's just a code to disable the caching system once you've done that of course 
clear your cache um, I can do it by my hosting again like this and then go on my website so now the problem should be completely solved and that's the proof that is actually a caching problem of course guys remember um, that this code we just added to the file um, it's to disable the caching uh, system uh, this use it only to test use it only if you have a website made by scratch like you are just developing a new website um, after that you can delete it but this um, you should not use it you, you should not keep it on your live website when you need to publish it and here we are I hope the video was useful so thumbs up if you like the video if you want to see more videos like that subscribe and of course notification bell to be notified for new videos and new tutorials so see you in the next one bye